Hi guys, so if you have viewed some of my previous media videos, you may know that I am actually a really big fan of Super Destro Nort DX on the PS Vita. So I was pretty excited when Super Destro Nort 2 was announced by Rattlaker Games. It's published by Rattlaker Games and published by uh, Petite Games. Now, Super Destro Nort uh, came to Vita, PS4, Switch. It's just a really fun old school shooter, like Space Invader, but um, some really fun kind of colorful graphics. And what I loved most about it was actually the online leaderboard, because it really gave you a reason to keep on playing. Um, so anytime you scored, you know, got a high score on a game on, on a particular level, you'd then obviously have your score on the uh, on the leaderboard and then uh, be able to compete with friends and you know everyone around the world. And that really did encourage me to uh, to play more. And so playing Super Destro Nort 2, there's one thing that I think is really cool in this game, one in terms of changes from the first game, but then one big uh, big change that I'm not uh, not overly happy with. Um, so the first, uh, the good change is that you're not um, tied to the bottom, uh, the bottom of the uh, the level. In Super Destronaut 2, your ship would basically be on the bottom of the level, and you'd be kind of scrolling from uh, side to side or moving from side to side. In Super Destronaut 2, you can actually go up and down the screen, and you have enemies coming from the bottom of the screen as well. So it's quite a cool change, actually, and it means you're a bit more versatile, and it means uh, when it comes to bullets, they're more fluid as well. So whereas bullets would just kind of target towards the bottom of the screen, you can see bullets actually uh, going around the level a bit more. So you do have to kind of uh, make more of an effort to kind of dodge them, and you've got more ability to dodge them because you can go up and down. Um, you feel a lot faster and easier to move as well, which is, uh, which is good. Um, so I really like actually that uh, that particular change. I think it adds a lot to the game um, and makes it uh, makes it really fun to play. Now onto the uh, onto the negative. There are no leaderboards in this game. I've tried looking around and there are there are no leaderboards. You can um, see um, your high score. You know it keeps stats on your uh, progress and how well you're doing, but it doesn't. You don't. You can't compete with other people around the world on uh, on leaderboards. And for a game like this, I think that's essential because, you know, look, I, I enjoy Rattlaker games. Um, I've really liked some of them. But these are games where you will get the trophy, uh, the platinum trophy, very quickly. And so that's not going to keep you playing. Playing this game over and over is fun. But really, what kept me coming for the, uh, for the old game, for the previous version, is being able to compete with people and just kind of see myself on that uh, leaderboard. Um, and you know, I was quite proud for a little while, a few weeks. I was the top score on the uh, on the leaderboard for hardcore mode, um, and that was cool because that that makes you feel good and makes you feel like you know there is something to aim for. Here, I don't have that feeling. Um, it's it's a real shame because I was really excited for this game, and it just feels like that's a big difference that's not there. I don't know if that can be patched in later. I don't know if I'm completely missing it, but I mean, I can show you guys the uh, the menu in a second. Um, but yeah, it's it's, um, it's a shame. That That is a little bit of a disappointment. Um, that's probably the biggest thing I think that's missing. Another kind of positive thing that I, that I like about the game is that uh, you could get power-ups in the previous game that uh, give you different weapons. Um, in, the, in the previous game, you would just get it automatically for killing certain ships. Here, you actually have to try and collect the, uh, the power-up when you kill um, one of the uh, multicolored uh, sort of flying saucers at the top of the screen. So uh, if one comes up, I'll try and... That, that's the one. So when you kill this, you get the power-up. Now, the only thing is that, um, yeah, the power-up is kind of random in terms of what you get. So you can see there's a laser there. So you don't always know what you're getting, um, but it's quite... Uh, it's it's uh, very useful. And I like that you have to kind of actually work to get it rather than just you have the power-up straight away as soon as you kill uh, that one enemy. But, you know, this game still has the same fun of the previous game. It's got uh, better controls than the previous game. It's just missing that one element that makes it really addictive, in my opinion, which is a shame. But, you know, I still think it is a it is a good game from what I've played so far. Um, you know, I do enjoy playing it, but I just, yeah, I just can't see myself playing it as much as I played the previous game. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments, are you planning to pick up Super Destro Nort 2? Um, if you played it already, let me know what you think of it. And hey, if you want to drop your uh, your high score on the uh, when it comes to classic mode or uh, or when it comes uh, when it comes to uh, hardcore mode or something, put it in the comments and then uh, let me see how well I compare to uh, to your score. Thanks for watching, everybody.